Your Excellency, the former Vice President, who, inshallah, will be enthroned as the next President of the Republic of Nigeria. <laughs> Let's take it straight. We are faced with daunting times in Nigeria. We are at a time where things are differently seen from what we've ever seen before. The trajectories are different and we need a different solution to it. Because what has not been done cannot be done except with methods which have not been tried. <laughs> Your Excellency, you don't need to be sold like you know. The new leadership we want in Nigeria is somebody who has seen it all, who has not only exhibited capacities in public service, but has proved himself as a successful entrepreneur. He understands the business of demand and supply. <laughs> These are very, very critical issues that require to be put into consideration in choosing the next leadership. Because the proof of the pudding is in the eating. We have demonstrated that you are not only a good manager of men, by creating enabling environments for engagement of young men across the country. However, if we must get this, for me, I'll have to be involved if this is about uniting Nigeria, if it is about changing our economy, if this is about reducing the number of out-of-school children, it is about making health services available to all. But most importantly, it is about us moving forward as a people. So I think we must begin to look at these things very critically. It's not a tea party. For those who are familiar with Nigeria's history, you'll see that what we are going through is not, we have, is not what we have seen before. This type of transition has never happened. So that's why it is different and must be handled differently. But I'm sure we have enough human and material resources to take Nigeria through. Because the biggest challenge that we have today is not on not knowing what to do. We all know what to do. We know what Nigeria should be. But the biggest challenge is how. How do we get it done? Nigeria requires a lot of resources. Resources are the biggest challenge for any government anywhere in the world. So if you don't have a knowledge on how to bring resources to the table to allocate optimally, then you have no business in this business. But we have demonstrated that you can do it. And this is what we want to see. God will help us all. Thank you, God bless. As one, we can get it done.